Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection First Truth Report of 2016. And I want to take this opportunity to wish you, believe with God for you, for a blessed, a prosperous, a healthy, and a special experience of His presence during this coming year, 2016. I want to begin by looking at this week's Torah portion, the assigned reading for this this week, uh, and it's from Exodus. It's called Shmot or Exodus, and it covers the first six chapters of the book of Exodus, and in that is one of the most significant passages, I think, that's given to us in the entire scriptures, because it sets a precedent that uh, should be and will be acknowledged for eternity. It's the uh, passage where Moses uh, is encounters the burning bush. And this whole experience with God is a means by which God calls him to uh, come and lead the children of Israel out of Egypt. And uh, you'll remember the account, and we'll not go into that. But before that, he, he establishes his authenticity and his authority uh, to do this. And he does this by revealing, uh, God revealing to Moses who he really is. And this is what he says. This is, this is very important. In Genesis chapter 3, 15, God said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, this is what you're to say to them. You're going to lead them out. You have to have uh, your own authenticity established, and this is the way you're going to do it. You say to them, Yahweh. Now here, the English translation is a Lord, and we have said time and time again, but remember this, whenever you see LORD in all capital letters in the Old Testament, it is Yahweh. And primarily, the, the, the bulk of the time, the vast majority of the times that you see the term LORD in the New Testament, it refers to Yahweh as well. But here Moses says to God, Say to the Israelites, Yahweh, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. That's what Moses is to tell the Israelites. Yahweh has sent me to you, and this is my name forever. I say that again. This is my name forever. That's what God said. <clears throat> this is my name forever, the name by which I am to remember, be remembered from generation to generation. Now, he has not been remembered by that name from generation to generation. As you know, and I've, we've mentioned this a number of times, the, the rabbis have said, don't use that name. It's out of a sense of reverence, and we believe it's a misguided sense of, uh, sense of reverence <clears throat> because of the danger the rabbis have felt of using the Lord's name in vain, profaning it in some way. So they said, don't use it at all. Well, that's not what God said. God said, this is my name. It is to be remembered. It's to be memorialized forever. And... Uh, <clears throat> As we've said, not only do the Jews not uh, pronounce it, but neither do Gentiles primarily out of ignorance because they don't know it. You don't hear this taught from the pulpits, even in evangelical churches, sadly. But the day is coming, and I believe the name of Yahweh is the missing, one of the very prominent missing pieces of the end times puzzle because I believe that the end time, in the end times, that that name, the name of Yahweh, is going to be lifted up, exalted, magnified, and glorified, and the Jews will recognize it, and they will use that name as well. Jesus said, <clears throat> until you say, you'll not see me again, you'll not see me again until you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of Yahweh. And he's referring to himself. And this is verified by the passage that's given to us in Philippians chapter 2 and verse 11. The name of Yahweh. God says this in Philippians chapter 2 verse 11. He says, therefore God highly exalted him. That is Jesus. God highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name. What's the name that is above every name? What's the name that God gave Jesus that is above every name? It's his own name. It's the name of Yahweh. And so he goes on to say uh, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow on heaven and earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus is Yahweh. The English says Lord. 
but there is a day whenever the name of Jesus is mentioned, it will be an acknowledgement, a verbal acknowledgement that he bears the name of the Father. The Father has bestowed upon the Son his very name, Yahweh. Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Yahweh. That's his name. That's his name forever. That's his memorial name. And that's the name I want you to lay hold of and grasp at the beginning of 2016 and, and be using it for the next year, especially exalting and magnifying the name of Yahweh. That's the name that is above every name. And Jesus recognized that because he is Yahweh. And that's the truth. <laughs>